Hey guys, this is Jeremy from Church Mag, and I have another episode from the Unprogrammed series. If you guys have never heard about this series, we get five minutes where we talk about a specific topic that we like on video, completely unedited. So here we go. I love social media. I love blogging. I've done a lot for Church Mag. Obviously, you can see right here. I've done the Twitter account for Church Mag. I actually had my own website for a while that I ran everything for, did the editing. And one of the things I love about that is just to be able to talk about some kind of different resources out there for people. I know I used a lot of different resources and I thought it was terribly cruel of me to not share those resources with others. And so I made sure I jumped on there and then it started to talk about different ways that I thought about church technology. And now I'm here with Church Mag just running this process, talking about community and how to do things really well, really responsibly, really effectively, being really good stewards about our process. One of the things that I've found though with social media and with church technology blogs is that we sometimes lose focus of things. And so this will apply to your church in a huge context for communication. I think that's important. So yes, there's the digital aspect of things with websites and social media. We also have a lot of different communication aspects beyond that. And I think that the important thing to realize with this entire process is sometimes we get lost in our own strategy, in our own minds, that we don't necessarily think about how the congregation takes it. And so one of the things I really think for my own process is trying to be able to recognize how the congregation, new visitors, the community in and of themselves are trying to view this situation. I get lost in my own Christianese and there's a lot of different conversations out there about how to do that well, how to speak to people that may not understand this process. With social media and with blogs, things are so instant. We have to constantly come up with content. If you are running your own Twitter accounts, which is maybe the most extreme of these, you need to post seven to 11 times a day, as some people speculate, to be able to even be effective. How in the world are you gonna get blog posts up to be able to actually reach people in a content that's fresh and always updating for Google to see? It can feel overwhelming. And so you're like, okay, I'm gonna have the strategy. I'm gonna make sure I post these things, advertise this ministry application, talk about this event that people can RSVP for, make sure they have all the different applications that they need. And you forget about the audience themselves. It's about the ministry, it's about the church, absolutely. But you are trying to talk to an audience. And it's not you're talking at an audience, but you're trying to have that dialogue. And so what I would encourage you guys is to actually take a step back and survey some people. And I would encourage you to talk to some people in your congregation, some of the leadership, some of the people in your community that don't attend your church, some of the other churches themselves, and say, hey, we have a social media platform. Would you be willing just to follow us and tell me a couple of different things that you think about? And if they leave comments, hey, what was it about that one thing that made you want to comment? What was that one thing that made you want to share or like that post? And all of a sudden you're starting to get a feedback process that's not just, should I be posting? How am I gonna do all this work? But now you're getting very targeted in this approach and you're actually reaching your congregation. It's actually a huge marketing approach of understanding your audience, getting feedback from them, and not just trying to use a shotgun to try to hit something on the wall. And so instead you're being very precise, which means you're using a lot less efforts and I would encourage you even to go beyond that and say, okay, you know what? They say they like this content, so I'm gonna make some more of it. And now you have such a laser focused effort on something like that, that it starts to create content for itself. I love the idea of just being able to step out of the box of what it means to do communication well, social media and blogging, and say, what do you guys think? And not only does it do the ability to empower your team and yourself in that process, but now you are starting to develop extremely loyal fans, extremely loyal followers online. And now the ability to market to people becomes so much easier because you know what your audience wants and they're actually on your side. I don't really have much more beyond that to say because I actually want to hear from you guys in this. What does it mean to do this well? I actually want to practice everything I just said. So leave your comments down below. What is the scariest thing about this? What's the most challenging thing about this? Have you done this yourself? And would you be willing to share some of the resources with us so that we can have other people see that? I love the idea of doing community online. Church Mag is a little bit different approach because we're all around the world, whereas your church might be very centrally located, community oriented in that process. So if we can do it, you guys can do it. 
So leave you guys comments down below and we'll catch you next time.